Okay, so we're gonna do a little test road to keep checking our revisions of autopilot. And uh, this is our first run on this with our current revision, which is 40.8.11. Okay, so the FSD beta is enabled now. 100 feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Now turn right on to so a little bit of a jerk there as we had oncoming traffic. I'll re-enable. Oh, as soon as I can. I had to give it a little nudge there, probably because I had to enable it so close to the stop sign. I'm giving it a little kick. It's taking its time accelerating. So our first right at a traffic light with pedestrians waiting to cross. This will be interesting. It's inching its way forward to watch. Got a green light with peds. Oh, okay. the peds are going stop, stop, stop. I am. Oh. Don't worry. I was just waiting to see if it would oh. wait. Oh, okay. Was, was the car going to stop? I don't know. I stopped before I let it get too close to the ped pedestrians. I stopped it out of an abundance of safety, everyone watching, because obviously that would not be good. I don't know if it would have stopped or not. Okay, so it's not signaling. I've signaled left just so cars behind me know what I'm up to. Did a little break there. I'm not sure why, but it recovered on its own. Just a reminder, this is an Hold on. This is an early access beta, so there are gonna be little things like that, and I'm watching it like a hawk. So here we have a non-controlled left turn. Now turn left onto Bent Road. Okay, I'm manually turning the left turn signal on. Just creeping up here. A little slow, but you know, it's doing it. It's also resonant. Okay, so we have speed bumps on this run. Oh, no. Oh, it's braking. Ah! I did not brake. <laughs> it braked for that speed bump. That's interesting. That was just fun. That was fun. <laughs> okay, first four-way stop. Okay, it did hit a full stop. Okay, now we've got oncoming traffic, park car, and another stop. Just for perspective, it does feel like it's a little far to the left in the lane, but not so much that I have to correct yet. It seems to be correcting for parked cars just a little too much to the left. Turn left onto Hill Drive. <laughs> Slight late break for the stop for the for the speed bump, but it's still it's still slowed down a bit. Okay, now we're coming up to a left turn into more uh, to busier traffic. And it's a divided highway now. With a divided highway. Yeah. So this one, let's see what happens. Oh, okay, you gotta go a little further. There's no one behind me, so I'm letting it do it. I haven't done anything yet. Okay, now we're at the intersection. It should go now if it wanted to, but it's taking too long. Yeah, it's telling me to take over because a car is coming. So there was, okay. I took over. And re-enabled. Now I'm just setting... Ooh, interesting. It didn't go the way I wanted it to. Well, that was interesting. In 500 feet, turn right onto Deer Springs Drive. I'm gonna disable it. Sorry guys, this is me testing how I uh, of a loop, and it took the didn't take the path I thought it would. I want it to turn left up here. 
There it goes. Okay, now it's going the way I want it to. That's not a FSD beta fault. That's just the navigation system trying to route me a more efficient way. Okay, this is what I'm after. It's slowing down a bit much. I'm giving it a little push with the accelerator. That's all I'm doing. And I've let go and it's doing everything else on its own now. Not bad, that was pretty good. Good job. It needed a little convincing to make the turn a little faster, but. Um, it would have done it. It would have done it, yeah. yeah. sure why it's signaling right so I'll cancel that oops Good, press the button well, why is it signaling we're gonna make a left soon let's see what it does that's interesting yeah. let me just tap this for recording that in autopilot but now it's trying to get back in the left lane I wonder if it's just the rule that you're not supposed to be traveling in the Maybe. left lane idea thing. Well, it's got to get over. Here it goes. Oh, this is the store. Okay, I know where we are. I'm just trying to see what this does. I'm curious. <laughs> it's not doing anything dangerous, so I'm going to let it do its thing. Okay, so just for feedback, usually it doesn't like making a left turn from the right lane so this will be a test turn left and I'm gonna watch it carefully because sometimes road. it doesn't like doing this so this will be a good test of each revision to see how it improves and each day and every day yes because we've been seeing it does seem to learn or from our perspective it appears to learn as you do the same drive over and over again I don't know if that's in reality what's happening with the, the software or if it's just coincidence Efficiency. Yeah. For those that want to see. Okay, here we go. I don't know why the turn signal turned off. <laughs> okay, it's taking the left. Yeah, it's doing it. It's doing it's pretty good. It's staying in its lane, unlike yeah. the guy in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the turn signal turned off, but yeah. that's uh -huh. okay. not a big deal. I mean, it's a, whatever. <laughs> it's not a deal breaker. Yeah, exactly. For an early access beta, yeah. it's okay. The turn was the more complicated action. Oh, we also have a bike lane coming up. Well, the, the right, there's a whole bike. Oh, yes. This right, right turn, you uh, have to turn the right left. through the bike lane to make the right. Now, previously, it would it would hesitate doing that or it wouldn't do it fast enough. Um, I did find if I manually enable the turn signal, it'll do it. So I will, I'll, I'll try to let it do it automatically and see how it does. Guy running a red light. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it was confused for a sec there, yeah. Now it sees the... Did it signal right? It signaled right, yeah. yeah. Okay, like now it needs to turn right. <laughs> it knows it has to get over. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I have to intervene. Now turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. There's no one behind me, so I'm gonna. Oh, it's got a green and it's running, going. Perfect. I didn't do anything that time. That was 100% the FSD software. And here comes our up, upcoming last turn is a uncontrolled left turn across two lanes. Let's see if it gets over. This would be a great time to get over. <laughs> I'm going to manually do it. I could have been patient and waited, but uh, I wanted to get over in time for it to have enough room for this left turn. I did give a little acceleration there to encourage it along. Now here comes the left. Now turn left onto by Joyce Drive. Nope. Okay. There we go. Ooh, good one. Okay, it's a little further in the center again, but it seems to like doing this where it could have parked cars on the on the curb. It seems to only do it when there when there are no parked yeah, cars. Yeah, when there are no parked cars, the the pattern is it, it seems of, to do it on it just takes advantage of it. Yeah. At your destination. And that's it. So I'll loop back around here. I took control and I'm doing this manually. And back where we started. So that's our, gonna be our test loop. Um, sorry for all the little bugs as we did it for the first time. And uh, we'll do that again as our test of each new software release.